Hi there, and welcome to this Camtasia alternative video. Are you unsettled by the $199 price tag for Camtasia? Well, in this video, I'm going to explore a less well-known alternative that can do all the Camtasia stuff, but is easier on your wallet. Well, it can do most of the Camtasia stuff, I should say, but not all of it. I'd like to start by saying that this video has been edited in the alternative, which is Mob AVI. I've also created and edited some parts in Camtasia to compare both products. For both these screen capture video editing softwares, you can get a free trial to try them out. Mob AVI lasts one week, Camtasia lasts 30 days. What does Camtasia do, and what's so good about it? Camtasia is good because it is really easy to operate. The sound is good and the videos are good quality. Many open source or cheaper screen capture and video editing software turn out grainy or have huge black lines on the sides or are really complicated to use. With both Mov AVI and Camtasia you can remove any black lines at the side of badly filmed videos. There are tutorials online. That's why Camtasia is so popular. That and all the effects like highlight slash blur and conceal, zoom and pan and others. And it's been difficult to find a good alternative with all these features unless you want to pay the $199 price tag. I'm using Camtasia to do a screen capture of the interface as you can see. Here's the MOV AVI video suite interface which includes MOV, MOV AVI screen capture as well as other features such as file conversion. I found this especially useful when I wanted to convert a recent video into an audiobook. Uh, so convert an MP4 into an MP3 and it's got other file formats as well. And it saved me loads of time from going online and getting different programs etc. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate both Camtasia and MOV AVI and the different effects. What about the effects? My god you are so lazy! Get okay, so. Up! Two I important effects, that was clear. zoom and pan, Fine. and then there's a highlight and conceal. There's a highlight and conceal. And uh, within Camtasia, these are easy to demonstrate. It, this is a Creative Commons video, and uh, I can easily do a, a, a zoom and pan. It's dead easy to set up. <laughs> First Camtasia. So here's the zoom and pan feature. You just go to animations, zoom and pan, and then you select the place in your video where you want to zoom in. You simply adjust this part here to zoom in. Like that. There we are, I've zoomed in on a dog's face. As you can see it's marked it on the on the video. Then you just move your cursor, move the video to where you want it to end. So, if, for example, down here, and then zoom back out again. So here we just go and zoom back out again. And so now, when I save and record this, there'll be a zoom and pan from there, from this point. Oh, and uh, you need to um, need to separate like that. So it's only so it only does it with that. So that sex that that next section is just completely back to normal. So we'll just zoom from here to there, and you'll be able to see a preview in this place here. Look, there we go. Let me. So here we go. Oh my God, you are so late. Zoomed in. Yeah. Wake up. I have to and then it's going to zoom back out again. Okay, so here is the blur feature. If you wanted to blur out like a username or something, this is even easier. So you just go to annotations, blur and highlight. There's the blur. You drag this across like that. 
over the place you want to blur resize it that's it and here's the video and now show the highlight and conceal and zoom and pan for Movavi or Movavi I don't know how it's pronounced okay so all you do with Movavi it's really simple you just go to the zoom and pan feature which is this one uh, you click on the area of the video you want it in zoom pan and zoom see they call it pan and zoom rather than zoom and pan okay you select the dog's face uh, as we did in the last one now there's presets you can do zoom and pan zoom in zoom out pan sideways so it's slightly different from Camtasia uh, and then you just move along and to the time that you want it to stop so we'll stop it about there uh, create a snip so it's only going to happen in this section of the video and that's it and it's already applied it so as you can see if I go back to the beginning here we go it zooms in and it'll zoom out at the end and it zooms out at the end okay and I'll create the video so that we can have a look at the actual effect and then we'll move on to the highlight okay so here's the zoom and pan um, here we go, it's zoomed in and then it's going to zoom out again and there we go, zoomed out again so here's the equivalent of blur out or highlight and conceal for Movavi or Movavi <coughs> you can either right click on the, on the, on the tape bit and go tools and then highlight and conceal which is in the drop down menu here or you can just click on this thing here, this icon here select the point, point in the video now so you just find the point in the video where you want to start concealing it let's say say there and then you just adjust the oops you just adjust this let's uh, adjust the opacity so we can see it see what we're doing for now and go out to the area so that so it's, it's there and you just bring the opacity up till it's blotted out there you are so you can't see it there we go uh, and then move it along to where you want it to end So there and cut it. There we go, and that'll only be in that clip there there. <coughs> okay, so let's make the video and see how it looks. Okay, so here's the highlight and conceal or blurred out bit that we put on the that particular section of the video and then it's gonna change in a few seconds because it will go back to normal and the highlight and conceal will, will be removed here it goes, there it's removed and that's it, really easy to do ok and lastly let's have a look at the easy applied obvious effects from each program and this is where MovAVI really comes into its own so these are the Camtasia effects you've got like a green screen here uh, and then you've got uh, like a black and white effect that you can have which is which is here and then coming up in a few seconds you've got a speed up effect which will be coming in coming in any minute now here we go speed up speed up effect and that's about it there's not much else that's obvious within Camtasia so let's look at the mob AVI effects so these are the filters and effects that you can use for Mavavi, Mavavi, and as you can see, you just go to um, this icon here, and there are loads of them, absolutely loads. Camera shake, gloss mosaic, glowing edges, um, absolutely loads of them. And this is where Mavavi really stands out as a great alternative to Camtasia because there are a lot more easily accessible and obvious effects to apply to your video and all you do is you just grab one 
and uh, let's, let's grab that one for example and you just drop it into the into the, into the screen there you are, and the colors are all inverted look on that one okay so um, let me show you some of these effects so these are some of the effects in those in, in the filters and effects section so this is a pop art effect there's also like eight screens and different other different colors as well this is a noise effect there's lots of different noise effects that you can use um, we've got uh, falling objects you can have lots of different kinds of objects in your in your videos like uh, cupids snowflakes balloons paper airplanes loads of different stuff uh, you've got sketch effect like this you can also have a brush and sketch effect and I think there's a couple other ones as well uh, and then you've got a motion blur effect and there's a number of different blur effects <coughs> you've got uh, lots of different kind of mosaics and glass window effects like that which is all quite handy for making videos with and putting in quick effects um, this is an inverse mirror effect and then after these there's, there's lots of different color effects so you can have pink, I think there's a green one, I think there's a blue one various different colors uh, also you can have black and white coming up there uh, and uh, then of course there was the uh, inverse which is coming up in a minute that's normal and there's the inverse one advantage Camtasia does have is that the personal license covers two devices whereas the personal license for Movavi only covers one both trials are restrictive in some ways both have an enormous watermark for example Movavi offers just as good quality and for me is much more user friendly. At the beginning of the video I said Movavi has most of the functions of Camtasia but I have found, not found anything so far that Camtasia can do that Movavi cannot. So it's a great Camtasia alternative and the screen capture is less than a fifth of the price. The full video suite is just a third of the price. Camtasia is also a very large program and with it on my laptop it tends to chew up resources, freeze and work slower than Movavi. Another nice touch from the Movavi team is that the site is designed for international use. It will display your currency and country. So you can see how the basic functionality of the two programs is very similar. The difference is that Movavi Video Suite is just $59.95 and if you want the screen capture it's just $30. You can cl check, click check this out using these links or the link in the description. Click the links in the video or in the description and get a 10% discount code. Use the code ALTERNATIVE01 at the checkout. This, that includes all the Movavi products, video suite, screen capture, game capture, whichever program you like. Click the link, it must be this link, and then put in ALTERNATIVE01 at the checkout to get 10% discount. I hope you have enjoyed this short video and that the information has given a good insight into Movavi, which I enjoy using as an alternative to Camtasia. Don't forget to subscribe and remember to use the coupon code.